This video describes how to use focus force phenoplasty uh, when the balloon is inflated but the waste doesn't go away. And so you can see here we have this tight stenosis in the previously failed implant um, because of the tight stenosis in the subclavian. Um, and we were able to get a, a wire through the occlusion uh, and it was so tight that we started off by using a, a balloon that's designed to go over a 0.014 inch wire. Um, so this happens to be the Pacific balloon uh, made by um, Medtronic. There's a Sterling balloon. But the bottom line is that it has a very low profile um, and is able to go through very tight occlusions because the central lumen uh, is very small, 0.018 plus the material on the balloon isn't very robust. Um, and it has what we call a rated burst pressure, which means that if you go above that, it's likely to burst of only 16 atmospheres. Um, so we started off with the four millimeter balloon, that didn't do the trick. So then we went to the six millimeter balloon, again, with a rated burst pressure of 14 atmospheres. And you can see the waste just isn't going anywhere. And so, uh, I inflated the balloon until it bursts. Uh, you can see there's the, the balloon bursting. Uh, and ordinarily, uh, when a balloon bursts, that doesn't cause any problems. Um, but in this case, um, the, the distal part of the balloon didn't want to come out. So that's a different topic. But this is the first time I've ever had uh, the, the bursting of the balloon cause any issues. It didn't cause any vascular issues. It just meant that the balloons were sort of stuck. Anyway, once we dealt with that, um, we took the KA2 down uh, over um, one of the V18 wires that we had in place. Um, and this time we're in taking a six millimeter Conquest balloon. Now the Conquest balloon has a much thicker uh, material that it's that's wrapped around uh, and the central lumen's larger, so it's it's more difficult to get to go through a tight occlusion. We got it through the occlusion, and this time we inflated it to the maximum um, pressure that allowed by the inflation device. In other words, the maximum you can turn up one of the inflation devices is only 35 atmospheres, and despite that, uh, we didn't make any progress. So, at that point we took a long five French sheath and were able to advance that five French sheath over uh, the one amp plats uh, and then took the dilator out, leaving the first amp plats in place and put a second amp plats in. So now we have two amp plats wires through the occlusion. And then we put the balloon back over one of the two amp plats wires. So here's amp plats wire number two, which is extra beside the balloon. And this is amplats number two, where the balloon, the balloon is being advanced over. So now we're um, advancing, now we're inflating um, the, the balloon against the amplats wire. So you can see here, right where this really tight spot is, here's the amplats wire, and the amplats wire is digging into the occlusion and opening it up to some extent. So once that was done, we went uh, and exchanged a six millimeter balloon for the nine millimeter Conquest balloon. Um, I was concerned we wouldn't get the nine millimeter through and we had already used a six. So we started with the nine, or we started with the six doing the focus force beam plastic. So here we have the nine millimeter Conquest balloon, uh, again, inflated to its maximum pressure uh, 35 atmospheres, and again, the, the, the inflation device only goes to 35 atmospheres. But you'll notice that with this, we finally uh, get the stenosis to go away. And as I've always cautioned, remember, you want to make your final inflation so that you can see the tail of the balloon in the pocket. And you can see here's, this is the another stenosis that wasn't dealt with. And from there, the implant was relatively straightforward. Uh, using Amplat support wire and the usual vein selectors and subselectors. So I hope you found that was useful. Uh, that's a nice example of focus force phenoplasty.
as well as predilating uh, when you have a really tight stenosis so you can get the more ro robust balloons, the ones that go to a higher atmosphere.